Myelofibrosis remains an extremely life-threatening disease, very deadly blood cancer for many of our patients, generally diagnosed in older adults, 65, 70 and older. Uh, myelofibrosis, particularly when it's intermediate to high risk, can really give a life expectancy of three years or less in some of these high-risk situations. So we need urgent therapies. The only class of drugs that's been approved in the targeted setting are those of JAK inhibitors. And so in our session at EHA, we'll discuss that there are now three approved JAK inhibitors, so that's ruxolitinib first in class, followed by fedratinib, and now most recently pecritinib approved in myelofibrosis, less than platelets of 50 in the United States. A fourth JAK inhibitor, momelotinib, is currently under regulatory review. Then we focus and pivot to combinations with JAK inhibitors and then all the novel agents that really move beyond the JAK inhibitor space. So our symposium together will really help to understand this evolving, changing landscape, which I hope folks will see that we have many more treatment options for our patients.